Did I ever tell you I've been struck by lightning seven times? Once I was repairing the roof. Once I was just crossing the road to get the mail. What's going on guys? 915 Mang here doing a video today. I wanted to show you my dirty ass sump. Um, I'm going to clean it out and I'm going to go ahead and cut out a lot of this chato and uh, get it going again. I'm going to use some scissors. I'm going to get rid of a lot of this red stuff and just throw it away in this uh, plastic bucket. I am going to be getting my Santa Monica Algae Turf Scrubber going here shortly. I don't know if I'm going to run it in the 40 or if I'm going to just take out the chato, put it in the 40 and then run the Algae Turf Scrubber from uh, Santa Monica in the 180. I am pretty excited to use it. I've never used uh, that kind of Algae Turf Scrubber. Usually I have the uh, downflow uh, but this one is going to be a totally different uh, scrubber. So keep your eyes open for that video. I just want to say thank you guys for coming over and checking out my videos. Listen to me talk. Uh, this is my like yearly, uh, weekly get-together um, because I get to talk to all the other crazy people out there who are into reefing, spend ridiculous amounts of time with their reef tanks, and also... A good amount of money on their reef tanks. Speaking of money, I got a order coming in from My Reef to Yours, and uh, that's their website, MyReefToYours.com. Uh, this is a nice little package of goodies coming in, and uh, this is the first time that I ordered from them. I did contact them on Facebook. I was bo bothering them. I told them, "Hey, uh, are you gonna put this Zoa up there? Are you gonna do that Zoa?" And uh, they were surprisingly pretty cool about it. They uh, instant messaged me back and uh, they got me what I wanted. So check them out. I didn't get anything free. I think they did throw in a free uh, frag um, of their choice. But I uh, really wanted this bubblegum digi. It was a pretty small small frag. But you know what? Um, digis are going to grow really good in my tank. I have a few digis in my tank. And uh, they do really well. Um, and I'll show you how it looks here in a minute. Now I just want to say another thing. I wanted to give a big thank you to Will Santiago. Uh, a lot of you guys check him out on YouTube. He does have a YouTube channel. And uh, he does drop comments every now and then. The SPS Master. And the reason I'm giving him a shout out. Along with Bay Area Reefs. Tim's Tank. Reefer Gill. Um, is because you know what they hooked me up uh, they hooked up my son and my son was able to raise $340 with the, fr the help of friends from YouTube and family and friends um, so thank you guys very much uh, you guys are awesome and I uh, really appreciate it now that money did not go to me it went straight to the school uh, fundraiser that they had so I did not buy corals or anything like that with it so I just want to say thank you guys and uh, really, really appreciate you guys. So back to the craziness. You can see that I got about eight frags. Uh, I'm really taking my time. And I did dump the uh, dip solution in there uh, to get any pest off or anything like that. Um, one thing about uh, dipping your frags is you really still have to closely inspect them because you're not going to find everything on the plugs or on the coral. Uh, there could be bubble algae, um, there could be uh, you know eggs, all kinds of crazy stuff but uh, the only thing that I found in the in the frags was uh, a stray pod and that's about it. Now I did use my Aquamax blue flashlight uh, the coral eye and as you can see some of these zoas and pallies already opened up. Uh, they have some pretty cool colors. I was able to get some nice Zoas, uh, I'll, list, I'll put a list um, in the description below. Uh, I got some blue sympodiums, which are really cool because they're really, really bright blue. Um, and then that digi, the digi that I got is a bubblegum uh, digi. It's green with red, but the base of it is a nice blue. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you right here coming up. And you can see right there what I'm talking about. It's like a blue um, with some green and then the red. Also picked up that rainbow acan, and then I picked up a whole bunch of different zoanthids, different pallies, 
Um, and the reason why I went with them is because the prices weren't like crazy. Um, the bubblegum digi, it was kind of expensive, like forty dollars, but everything else was priced pretty good. It was uh, fourteen to twenty-ish dollars for everything else, and so it wasn't too bad. And uh, they also did free shipping on orders over one forty-five anywhere in the U.S. So that's something else to look at if you're looking at um, corals. But as you can see, my Zoa collection is growing. Um, really happy about that. Uh, and once again, this blue Sympodium was freaking awesome. I couldn't believe how bright blue it is. It's not that color anymore, but uh, it did come in really, really nice. And as you can see, uh, I am starting to lose a little bit of room, uh, but it's going to look pretty sweet once it all grows out. Um, once it all grows out, it's going to be just crazy because it's going to be a thick mat. I am starting to uh, frag here and there. So that way uh, I could put it in my 40 gallon breeder. And speaking of my 40 gallon breeder, it is up. I'm using the light that uh, Tim gave me, my buddy Tim. It's a four bulb Aquatic Life T5 fixture with the timer single, single plug. The uh, sump, if you guys missed the last video, is a 10 gallon sump. Ended up making it simple, just enough to hold water and then uh, just be right there where, for the return pump. Nothing crazy um, and nothing um, crazy at all. I might just use it as a refugium, like I said, move some shade over there and just have a regular light. Now, this 40 gallon is just going to be pretty much a frag tank, but I got a little bit bored and I decided to go ahead and make uh, an aquascape. I used some of that reef welder, which is the plastic beads, um, and I just heated up with some water, started, you know, mixing it up in the on the rock, made a cool little fixture, rock structure, and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, do I really need it? Uh, I think so. I'll probably end up sticking some zoas or something like that on this in this tank, but I just didn't want to have a boring frag tank. Uh, I did want to have a little bit of uh, aquascape in there. But anyways, I think it came out pretty good. And uh, I am using my Manly gloves. These are dishwasher gloves. They're purple. Uh, I think they look uh, pretty good on me. But I am glad I had gloves on because guess what? This stuff came out of the rock. Came out of the rock because uh, I was out here messing around, you know, building a structure. And I am glad I have gloves because imagine... Getting stuck by this little guy, that would suck. I had some cool stories coming out from you guys uh, last Sunday. A lot of you guys shared your experience with this and uh, said that it stung like fiberglass. Some people just said they rinsed their hands off with warm water. Um, but uh, you know what? That was enough for me and uh, I'm glad I had some gloves because uh, the whole time I was watching this guy, I didn't want him to shoot off any of those spikes because you can see those spikes are pretty big. So take this as a lesson learned. If you're going to be messing around with your rock, please wear the gloves. Uh, even if they're manly dishwasher gloves like mine. I had some pink ones, but I couldn't find them. So I had to open up the brand new box of purple. Moving right along, guys. I got a package in the mail. That's right. I got some brand new ATI bulbs. I wasn't sure how they were going to get here because, um, you know, they're light bulbs. And the U.S. Postal Service really doesn't care about your uh, reef equipment but bulk reef supply they did wrap up my bulbs pretty good i was going to complain because it took like a whole week to get here because i wasn't about to pay the uh, extra shipping but you know what they got here okay and they didn't break another cool thing that i want to let you know about is they do these group buys now on the group buys you sign up on the forum on uh, reef to reef i've seen them do it and you can get things upgraded to a be a preferred reefer and you get 10 times the points so i didn't pay the full price of these bulbs because i had like 20 something dollars in credit so it is something to think about and uh, it is worth it if you uh, let those points accumulate i do want to show you my little german shepherd right here i was talking to reefer gill about it because uh you know what reefer gill has three german shepherds so when I was out shopping for mine, I was asking him for advice. 
I do like the way the new bulbs look. Uh, the bulb combination that I went to with was a blue plus, two ATI blue plus. Um, those are really nice. I'm using those as a Tinix for the uh, sunrise. And then the uh, daylight, I'm using the Coral Plus uh, ATI. And I've always used the Coral Plus because it has the full spectrum of everything. And it's not an ugly yellow. It's like a cool blue. Um, it's really nice, crisp light. Uh, and I'm just setting up the timers and uh, seeing what the, the, the light bulbs look like with uh, just the blues and just the whites on. So really happy with it. And um, you know what? I'm going to grow some coral, guys. I also set up a auto top-off. I'm using the Tunzi auto top-off. I finally put it under there uh, just because I didn't want my pump running dry. Um, it is working pretty good. I had it in storage, and it was one of those things that I was thinking about selling. And uh, I'm glad I didn't because uh, I'm using it for this uh, tank right here. For flow, I have a RW15. Um, I was using the RW15 and the 120, the 180. And speaking of flow, guys, I just want to go ahead and uh, ask you, do you guys want a free pump? It's not from me, guys. I'm not giving away a free pump. But my buddy Reefing with O is. He has a contest going on. All you have to do is go to his page, comment on that video. I'm gonna. I already told you who. Reefing with O. You comment on that video and uh, you get a chance to win a pump. Now I probably will do a contest later on. Probably when I get to the 6,000 subscriber mark. I'm still a ways from that. But uh, once I get there, I'll probably do a pretty cool contest like Reefing with O or uh, something pretty cool. Uh, the last one I did, uh, we, I did a $50 gift certificate and uh, that dude won it. And so look out for a new contest about 6,000 subscribers. Skimmer is doing good. No issues right now. And the 40 gallon breeder and 180 uh, are going to keep me busy. I'm going to put some frags in here. See how they do guys and go from there. I still got some work to do on this tank, but you know what? Everything is good. I didn't have any leaks at all. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and change it up a little bit. Thanks guys, hope you have a good one. Like and subscribe and you guys take care.